to one in six grammar cases. Nominative – кто, genitive – кого, accusative – кого, the same, dative – кому, instrumental – кем, prepositional – о ком, or com. Uh, that may remind you the prepositional case is always used with a preposition, so uh, I usually add the preposition here as well. A com means about whom, about who. All right, let's write some examples. So nominative case, as you know, is used to indicate uh, where the subject is in, in a sentence. So, for example, кто это? Who is it? Кто она по профессии? Who is, she, uh, who is she in terms of profession, literally? Кто знает, когда начинается фильм who knows when the film begins кто видел олега who saw or has seen олег etc Genitive case uh, is used in many, many situations. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is statistically the most commonly used case in Russian. Um, one of the most basic constructions that it is used is um, construction I have, у меня есть, or у меня. And we can use кого here as well. So after the preposition у, we always use genitive case. So for example, you can ask uh, у кого моя ручка? Who has got my pen? У кого есть um, машина. Who has a car? Uh, genitive case is also used uh, after the word нет. Um, or it is used after preposition at. For example, от кого ты едешь? From whom are you going or driving? Um, as a negation, we would have to use a negative version of кто, никто. I think I'll make a separate video on this, but we can write an example here anyway. Здесь нет никого. There is no one here. Никого is a version of, genitive case version of никто. Никто means no one, nobody. Uh, now let's take a look at the accusative case. One of the most common functions of the accusative cases indicating where the direct object of a, of a verb is. For example, кого вы здесь знаете? Who do you know here? Кого Мария встретила на выставке? Who did Maria meet at the exhibition? All right, now let's take a look at the dative. 
кому? Кому здесь, uh, let's say, больше 18 лет? Who is here older than 18 years old? Кому он подарил свою книгу? To whom did he gift his book? We use dative as an indirect object, for example. Um, кому нравится играть в футбол? Who likes to play football? So these are three commonly used constructions. First construction is мне something something лет. I am something years old. Then indirect object with such verbs as, as to give, to gift, etc. Um, or for example to call. Кому? Uh, он звонил сегодня утром. Who did he call uh, this morning? And the last one is construction. Мне нравится. I like. We also use dative case here. Кому нравится играть в футбол? Who likes uh, playing football? Now instrumental. Instrumental is used after the preposition s, which means with. So we can ask something like с кем вы uh, ходили в кино? With whom did you go to the cinema? С кем он встречался вчера? With whom did he meet yesterday? So this is one of the most common usage usages uh, after the preposition s. And uh, also instrumental case is used after reflexive verbs. For example, кем они Гордятся. Who are they proud of? All right. Now prepositional case. It is used with the prepositions о, в, and на, meaning about, in, and on. О ком пишет автор? About whom does the author write? Um, о ком ты говоришь? Who are you talking about? All right. Uh, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section and see you in the next video.